Okay, so here we've got a nice little question here. Minus one to the power of i. Now, obviously, because it's to the power of i, this is complex analysis. So, how are we going to work this out? Well, one way to try is to first of all use this formula here. So, exponential of i, so you take the indice, you put that here, and then after that, you multiply inside these brackets here by the principal log of what's in the brackets at the bottom here. So whatever you're raising to the power of. So minus one, what the log of minus one here. And the i is what we multiply it by. And then we take the exponential of everything. Okay, right, so we've got principal log. So that's just the main result of log. Obviously, there's infinite many answers to this question here, log of minus i, but we just want the principal one. So what we're going to do is, we're going to expand further on this. So i, just make sure these i's are clear. And then log of the modulus of minus 1 plus i times the principal argument of minus 1. as well. Okay, so minus one. What does this look like on the complex plane? So there's our imaginary, there's our real. Minus one is going to be over here. So what we're interested in to work out this is from the origin, the length of this line, and then the argument from the positive real axis so what we're interested in is this, this angle here. Well, we can see that this angle here is pi. And the radius is obviously 1. So we can expand further on this. So exponential of i times log 1. That's what that is. That modulus of minus 1 is just log 1. Plus i then the argument of minus one, so we just put in a pi there. Okay, now it's just algebra. We just distribute the i amongst all these things here. And we end up with exponential, i times log of one. Well, log of one is just zero. So this one cancels out, so that's gone. And then i times i times pi, distributing this to this one here, so we end up with i squared i. Well, i squared, we know that i squared equals minus 1. Because the square root of minus 1 equals i. Okay, so we've got i minus 1 in here for i squared and the pi. So basically our answer is exponential of minus pi. Or we can write it like this, e to the minus i. And that's what I would take as our answer. And that would also count as our answer in Cartesian form, because this is a real number, e to the minus pi. So you get from minus 1 to the power of i, which i is an imaginary number, and you end up with a real, a real number for the answer. Okay.